Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter Swarm. Today we're at the Garganta del Diablo or the Throat of the Devil in Iguazu Falls. And the thing is today we're going to talk about are the don'ts of actually when you come here to Argentina. Now obviously there's a lot of people and a lot of noise at the falls so we'll go into Puerto Iguazu for this but I just thought you should see this because this is one of the things you have to check out when you come here to South America. The Iguazu Falls, don't skip out on it, okay? But into town. Yeah, those falls are awesome, okay? So you'll probably see them popping in a few times in the video, just randomly, because, oh my God, it is so cool to see the Iguazu Falls. And actually going to see the nature here in Argentina is awesome. And it kind of gets me to think of the first don't I have for when you visit Argentina, is don't think that Argentina is just Buenos Aires. There's so much more than Buenos Aires here in Argentina. And the thing is, there's so much nature to see, because when you come here, when you get out, you're going to see amazing vistas, amazing views, whether it's coming here to Iguazu and seeing the falls and the park here, which is just awesome unbelievable or going down to Bariloche to go skiing in the winter which is the summer in the northern hemisphere okay in June and July and August and stuff like that skiing down there or go drinking the wine and seeing the mountains in Mendoza or maybe going to Puerto Madryn and you want to go see the whale watching or going up to Salta and stuff I mean there's so much nature that's here that a lot of people forget that it's Argentina is so much more than Buenos Aires now definitely go to Buenos Aires because the city is awesome there's amazing districts to see all throughout the town the neighborhoods they really are distinct it's actually my favorite thing if you watch our loves and hates of, of Buenos Aires that's the first thing I love is that distinctive differences of the neighborhoods in Buenos Aires but the thing is don't think Buenos Aires is Argentina because Argentina is so much more than that okay now my second don't for you is when you are coming here to Argentina and you are gonna visit things don't expect things to start early okay so that means if you want to go to the museums or you want to go do see some sites you want to go do th some things things don't start at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning things start a little bit later okay if you're going to go see the dinosaur bones the natural science museum in buenos aires it opens at two okay you want to have lunch well lunch is like one or two o'clock in the afternoon dinner oh yeah that's eight nine ten eleven twelve p.m totally normal to have dinner very much a late night starting thing so don't think you're going to start anything early and also don't get upset if the locals are a little late if you set something up with them because it's kind of a normal thing to be 20 to 30 minutes late to a social engagement now I'm going to tell you as a tourist don't be late for your buses your trains well the few trains that you'll have or the planes you're going to be on because those things they, they aren't late okay and with the timing thing don't forget about the siesta when you are here now it's not all over the country but there's enough places that you'll see that things will close from about two to four or two to five in the afternoon so if you do have to do some like important shopping get it done in the morning so like 10 to 12 or 10 to 1 or something like that or later in the evening because that's when you're going to be doing more of your shopping all right now after some more adventures in the park we're actually here at our where we're staying we're in here at Iguazu and the next don't I have for you is though I'm kind of hot and I'm looking a little sweaty when I am here don't think that Argentina is that hot humid all year round like stereotype of South America that you think of because Argentina gets cold okay now here in Iguazu yeah at nights and their winter which is you know June, July, August, it does get chilly, okay? So you do want to have layers. But if you're going down to Patagonia, you know, there's a reason why people go to Bariloche to go skiing, because there's snow there. Buenos Aires, yeah, you're going to want a winter jacket because it gets a little chilly. So just realize it's not always the hot, humid, kind of weather you think of when you think of South America when you come to Argentina because it has a lot it has the seasons it has a lot of variation so do make sure you do pack some layers when you do come here because you know what it's not what you expect in terms of the weather thing okay also don't forget that the the, the seasons are different so uh, summertime the hot season December January February March and the, the cooler season is going to be June July and August okay or cold season so just have a heads up for that all right my next don't for you is when you come here don't expect every Argentine to be really happy if you compare Argentina to other countries in Latin America and South America because the Argentines will let you know they consider themselves more European than Latin American so just a heads up for that if you get a few you know looks and shaked heads and wagged fingers if that does happen another don't I have for you is I know when you think of Argentina you think ah oh, one of the greatest football players ever Diego Maradona is from here played for Boca won the World Cup for Argentina all kinds of awesome stuff and you think everybody must love him there look don't think everyone loves 
Maradona. Now, they love Maradona the player, so just know that if you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna, everyone's gonna love me because I'm gonna be a Maradona fan. No, they love, they love their Messi, they love their other guys. So just know that one, okay? And the reason why I bring up Maradona is you're gonna be getting, probably wanna get a, you know, an Argentina t-shirt when you are here, whether it's a Boca Juniors, River Plate, you know, Racing, or whoever you're gonna get. There's lots of cool teams, of course, just the national teams are really awesome. And if you're gonna be shopping here, there's some cool stuff to buy here actually in Argentina. But my next dome for you actually has to do with the clothes. And that is, don't forget to try things on before you buy, because the size in Argentina does not necessarily line up with the sizes in Europe or the US, okay? So you need to make sure you try it on before that M, which you think is a medium, is gonna fit the same way, okay? So have a heads up for that one. And the thing is, if you're gonna be traveling around Argentina, you're gonna be going to a game, or you're gonna be seeing Bariloche, you're gonna be going to Puerto Madryn, you're gonna come up here, the Misiones province and see, and come see Guazú. Don't think it's gonna be a quick bus ride to get anywhere in Argentina. Argentina is a very long country. It's a very big country, and it takes a long time to get around. So make sure you're ready for that. So when you're planning your trip, give yourself enough time to get between the different places, all right? Because it does take a while, all right? And when you are taking those buses, remember, it, you know, a 10, eight to 10 hour, or 18 hour bus ride, isn't that uncommon when you actually do come down here? Now, what I, another don't I'll have for you, because since you're gonna be taking these long bus rides, because actually the flights can be a bit pricey, okay? When you're gonna be talking these, taking these long bus rides, don't forget to bring a couple battery packs, okay? Now, some of the buses will have plugs for you, some won't. Some will have Wi-Fi, some won't. So you're gonna be on these long buses and you're gonna wanna make sure your devices stay charged. So I always say, bring two good backup chargers. Also, don't forget, Argentina has its own different kind of plug. So your European plugs, the US plugs, the Brazilian plugs, you have won't work here okay so make sure you do get an Argentina specific plug when you do come here all right and the thing is when you're back on those buses you'll notice that people bring their backpacks on and they all have a thermos with them or when you're driving down the road you'll see the police at some of the stops and they'll have a thermos with them with this cup and you'll see your friends carrying around a thermos you're like dude who carries around a thermos full of hot water well they're not carrying around a thermos just of hot water what they're carrying around is mate okay and the thing I'm gonna tell you about mate is don't skip out on trying mate when you're here especially if you get invited by locals to join in the mate circle. So yerba mate, and the reason why I'm standing here is actually there's a yerba mate tree behind me, and they take the leaves, and what you end up doing, it's 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 a tea, it's an herbal tea basically. But what they do is they put it in the little gourd thing, and you'll see the silver straws and stuff like that. They stuff it in there, and they pour the hot water on there. Okay, so just trying to let you know if you're going to be a digital nomad when you're down here, or you're going to be you know trying to work while you're abroad down here and traveling, just know finding a really fast internet can be an issue. It is hit and miss, but just, just have a heads up for that, okay? Now, my next dome for you is don't take your safety for granted when you are here in Argentina. And there's different art, different safety things you want to think about. One thing you look at is, hey, look, we're in the we're in Iguazu Falls, we're in the National Park and these kind of things. You know, with the sun beating down, with the bugs biting you and stuff like that, take that safety. So have your sunblock, have your bug spray, but also don't feed the animals and play with the animals when you are here because they can bite you and hurt you, okay? This isn't just all little fluffy little nice animals. There's some meaner animals that are here, so do be careful with that. And speaking of safety, also the safety is in terms of when you're going around, okay? Argentina does have some crime issues. I'm not gonna lie about that. So if you're gonna be going out and it's gonna be late at night when you're coming back, or you know, that's kind of how it works here, don't forget to take a taxi to get back. I know I'll talk, say about taxis later, but just, you know, don't be afraid to take that taxi back from the club or the restaurant and stuff like that because safety is an issue when you are here. Also, if you're going to be staying in Buenos Aires, this is one I always think it's important to say, is if you're staying in an Airbnb, okay, don't answer the door unless you're expecting someone, all right, because there has been known to people robbing people at their homes kind of stuff, so do be careful with that, okay? Also, in terms of money, I guess I should talk about that because a lot of times that comes up in safety is don't forget to bring lots of small bills, especially U.S. dollars, okay? The U.S. dollar is like the de facto second currency here in Argentina, and you can pay with it all over the place. And the thing is, a lot of places will actually put it up what their exchange rate is, so you can pay straight in dollars there, no problem. Now, a lot of places, especially in tourist areas, credit cards, Visa, MasterCard are, expect, are accepted lots and lots and lots of places. I've had American Express a few times too, but the thing is this cash is more appreciated when you are here and what's best is if you have small US bills because then a five buck taxi ride will get you a lot of places and then you don't have a 10 or a 20 or a 50 that no one a 50 no one's gonna be able to break really okay so have the smaller bills all right so do have a heads up for that oh also if you're gonna be going to the ATMs here 
don't think the ATMs are outside. The ATMs are inside the banks or inside like a mall, okay? So the ones that are in the banks, if you're going after hours, you might have to, you're gonna have to swipe your card to get into the bank to go get your money out. Um, and uh, don't expect the ATM to be English at first. I know when you put your international card in, you think it's gonna register, oh, international, give me the choices of the languages. No, usually what happens is you're gonna put your PIN number in first and then enter or continua, which is continue. You'll see that and then it'll give you a selection of what you wanna do, okay? And if you're coming from the US or Europe, remember, uh, you're probably using your checking account, that's corriente, okay? Uh, the, that, that's one you wanna look at that you're gonna push and then it'll switch over, oh, what language do you want? And usually it's gonna be Spanish, English, or Portuguese are gonna be your options, okay? Now, when you get your money from the ATM, another don't I'm gonna have for you is don't count your money when you're walking out of the bank. Put everything in your wallet before you leave the bank, okay? So don't flash your cash when you're here in Argentina. Also, don't wear your bling, your your, your necklaces and your earrings and your, and, and your rings and stuff like that and nice watches. Just leave that stuff at home. But one thing I will say is don't dress like a slob in Argentina. They have style here. But you notice their style doesn't involve a lot of glitz and glamour kind of ritzy kind of stuff. So just kind of be, be cool, but don't bring the bling because that can put you in a situation where you might become more of an easy target for people to rob you because it's more of the robberies I've, I've, I've heard about and seen here it's been more of you know crimes of opportunity versus I'm going to go get them especially with tourists so just have a heads up for that with those small US bills or, or the paces you have and stuff like that, when you're taking taxis, one thing I'm gonna say is, don't expect every taxi to take you when you are in Argentina, okay? They don't have to, or at least they don't have to in their mind, and so don't expect them to take you. And the thing is, is don't expect super amazing service in those taxis. Hence why you don't tip your taxi driver here. They're not expecting it, for a reason, all right? Now, the thing I would say is if you're gonna be flying into Buenos Aires or Cordoba, or you're coming to Iguazu, or you're gonna be taking the ferry over from Uruguay or something like that, don't be afraid to take a remise. Okay, a remise, a remises, those are hired cars, and you'll see it at the stations. And basically what you're doing is you're paying, I mean, a slight price premium. I'm saying like 25% more, maybe, maybe less, okay? Sometimes more, okay? But what it is is you have a private driver that drives you where you wanna go, so you don't have to deal with the taxi BS, you don't have to deal, worry about those things, and I, I find those to be quite good. So if you gotta be someplace, you know, and you're not sure the taxi's gonna make it, talk to your hotel about setting up a remise, a, a, a private driver to take you places, that can be a lot easier. Yes, you pay a bit more, but it makes life so much easier, especially when you're getting out of the airport or you're gonna be heading you know, back in front of the ferries or something like that, it can be a really nice thing. And the thing is, when you're coming into the airport, or you're coming in from the ferry or at the bus station and stuff like that, there's gonna be something that kind of ruffles your feathers, okay? And I'm gonna say this, don't get frustrated with the service and sometimes the attitude of some of the people here in Argentina. Because the thing is, is everybody's doing something, it's their own thing, and Argentines have kind of a reputation throughout South America to be a little stuck up, or a little self-important. And the thing is, the people are awesome here. I've had great times with Argentines all over the country. People go and take me to asados to grill at their houses, and we've gone driving in the dunes and stuff like that. I remember when I was in college and we are like surfing and stuff. I mean, it was just a great experience when I was here. And the thing is, is you love the people when you get to know them, but when you don't know them, sometimes it can get a little frustrating. And where you're gonna get the most frustrated is one, if you're flying in or you're, you're taking the ferry in, you gotta be at the baggage claim. Everyone just, the whole family, huddles around and you can't get to your stuff you're like you know permiso permiso lo siento permiso can i get by please excuse me no you got to kind of like muscle your way through there for those things all right and it gets really frustrating but probably the one that's going to get you the most is when you're taking the buses which you will take and you got to put your luggage underneath the bus when you're trying to get your stuff off the bus, everyone is standing right there. So it's mom, dad, grandmas, the kids, everybody's waiting for that one piece of luggage. You're like, dude, there's six of you to get one luggage. Could you just move out of the way for a sec? And that I've seen is really frustrated a lot of tourists I've talked to here. So just relax, it'll be okay, you know? And sometimes I, I've known some tourists to get upset because they might give you nicknames when you are here. That has happened to me, I've become Jenki, which actually is a kind of derogatory term for an American back in the day when I was here. But hey, you know, people call me, you know, Gordo, of course, I'm a fat guy. But just, just take it with a grain of salt. Just relax, because you know what? Like I said, things take a little bit more time here. Just have a little more patience when you're here, and that's gonna make things a lot easier. Now let's focus on some food don'ts when you're here. Now, one food don't I wanna tell you is, don't forget to memorize this word, jugoso, jugoso. It means like juicy, okay? Because in Argentina, they love their meat well done. We're talking like no pink. 
no bake at all, no blood, no, no, no. We want to cook through. That's how they like it here. And if you don't like your meat, well done. You need to make sure you tell them who goes so, okay? Because otherwise, man, you might be having a pretty, I mean, this beef here is fantastic, okay? But it's gonna be rock solid sometimes or really, really well done. So make sure you don't forget who goes so, okay? Because the meat here is fantastic. And I guess I could say it's like, you know, don't be a vegetarian coming to Argentina because there's so many great meats here. And the beef here, oh my God, bife de chorizo, which is like a, a sirloin steak, is fantastic. Oh, the bife is like a ribeye. Lomo is a tenderloin. I mean, there's so many great meats here with chorizo, which is a sausage with pork. I mean, just so much great meat here. All right, but just know if you like a little blood, a little pink, and your steak, who goes so? Okay, I'm just trying to help you out with that one, all right? So when you order your food here, I have another dome for you. They don't include the side dishes every single time, okay? So when you order your steak, and you're like, man, that's a good price for a steak, you might see that, oh wait, and I have to order the fries or, or the, uh, the arroz cremoso, the, the creamy rice on the side, okay? So don't forget that might be something there. But I have one thing with those side dishes, don't be ashamed to share a side dish. I mean, when you order papas fritas as a side, I mean, I would order it and it would be for me, my dad, and the boys, and my mom and, and Josh would have a couple too. I mean, it's a big serving. So don't be ashamed to share your sides. So when we'll eat, for example, tonight, I mean, I don't know, we're gonna have like two or three steaks, you know, and, and then a, a, there's actually good fish here, river fish here in, in Iguazu. And so we'll have that and the kids will have their things, but we'll have two sides because we'll share those between all of us and it'll be enough, so don't worry. And also, don't feel bad if you just get a side dish for a meal because <laughs> it's big enough for a meal, okay? My last don't for you is a sweet one on the food. Don't forget to get some dulce de leche or some ice cream when you are here. And the thing is, if you're not sure what dulce de leche is, it's, it's condensed milk and sugar cooked down. It looks like a caramel, but it's more creamy and, and smooth and like a harder caramel kind of stuff. Oh, and don't say dulce de leche is caramel. That would be one I would want to tell you, okay? They're not the same, and don't say that to the locals. They will not appreciate that, okay? But don't forget to get some of that dulce de leche. And there's different ways you can get it. I mean, one of my things I like to get and I get for the boys all the time are the alfajores, which I know I'm saying, I butchered every time I say it, but that's kind of how you would say it. And basically what it is, is it's cookie, dulce de leche cookie, and then it's all covered in chocolate, or there might be multiple layers of it. That's the tastiest way to, to get your dulce de leche if you want to take it home and share it with people. But also when you're going around and you're at the bus stations and stuff, they make quick, easy snacks to grab one and go. Um, but another way you get your dulce de leche, and what I think is really great here in Argentina, is actually the gelato, the ice cream here, or gelato, whatever you want to call it. The ice cream here in Argentina is phenomenal. Throughout the country, there's some great chains, you know, Volta, Fred, uh, Fredo, and stuff like that. But what I recommend is don't just go to the chain ones, go and find a mom and pop ice cream place anywhere in Argentina, and you're gonna find some amazing ice cream. With some, the dulce de leche ice cream, you will be happy with that. With the dulce de leche ribbon going through it, oh my God, it's so good. So you will have that. So I hope you like your don'ts of visiting Argentina. If you wanna learn more, maybe the don'ts of Buenos Aires, or the don'ts of South America, or Europe, or the US, or wherever, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and all those that so help support us on Patreon. We want to give you a big thanks or gracias from here in Argentina. Adios.